just after 20 past 7 in the morning and it's time to move. feeling a little bit more alive now um, so I'm just waiting to get onto the M60 traffic's quite bad because it's rush hour on a Friday morning um, and I'm off to a gig in a place that I can't even spell and I don't know how to pronounce it I'm gonna have a guess Mythelmroyd have you heard of that? I don't know it's, um, it's near Hebden Bridge and it's actually a funeral that I'm going to play for. Uh, I'm going to play a bit of Claire de Lune, um, which I've recorded before actually, so I'll put a link below um, of that video and you can have a look because it is a beautiful piece. Um, the traffic is so bad, but I've left myself about two hours to get there, so um, I should be okay. So I've finished playing for the funeral now, um, I didn't want to film in there just kind of out of respect to the family, uh, I do find funerals quite difficult to play for, I'm sure everyone does. Um, so I'm just on my way back to Manchester now, uh, grab some lunch and then basically I need to spend the afternoon doing some practice because I have about a million notes to prepare for tomorrow, a um, bit of music to mark up. We'll see what time I finish doing that. Um, busy times, busy weekend. It's so good. It's so good to be like busy doing party things. Good morning, everybody. I think it's about 20 past 9, so it's definitely time to move. to Stockport Symphony Orchestra afternoon rehearsal. Um, it's 20 past 12, doesn't start till 2, so there's plenty of time. I feel like I could very easily be quite stressed out this morning. I got just over an hour of like last minute practice done because there's just a zillion notes today. Um, but I also had to do like a million and one house things, laundry, hoovering, like making my house acceptable because I've got a mystery guest staying this week who I'll tell you about in my next video so it's just so much to be doing uh, going to Stockport Town Hall there's a lady playing first half I'm on second half but she actually can't make it this afternoon so it's just gonna be me I feel like I don't really know what's going on so I'm just gonna have to keep my wits about me basically and um, I hope it goes all right. Okay, getting to Stockport doesn't take as long as I thought. I'm an hour and 20 minutes early. So 
I'm gonna try and get the harp in if there's even anyone sometimes the buildings are still locked when I arrive but if I can get the harp in I'll do that and then it's lunchtime and I should have bought a book A bit grim in Stockport. Um, got invited up for dinner by the viola section, it's lovely, had a burger and now I'm just gonna head back, get changed. Uh, I've got a rehearsal with the other harpist just before the concert so it'll be nice to go through a few bits and um, yeah, it's a bit grim though, it's chucking it down. All right, see you in a bit. I made it through the concert. I'm not gonna lie, that was one of the more difficult concerts that I've done recently. Um, but I just wanna end this vlog with a few thoughts. Um, firstly, I'm not about to start naming names on this channel, like, I'm not sure I'll ever do that. But the lady on First Heart, she's amazing. Like, I find it so inspiring to be, to just hear someone who's got so much more experience than I do. Just such confident, assured playing. Big sound, like something I used to hear in my lessons a lot was just, you need more of everything, just more of everything. I didn't really get it. And then I hear people of that standard and I'm like, oh right, that's what they mean. Like that is what I need to go for. Uh, secondly, it was a um, it was a program of film music. It was like E.T., Titanic, Gone with the Wind, things like that. And I just think, how can anybody not get into music after growing up watching films like that? I remember watching Gone with the Wind when I was like probably too young to be watching it. I was still a child, and what is it like three hours long? <laughs> But hearing the music now, I'm like, well, of course I loved it. The music's amazing. Um, so, yeah, it's a good. It's been a good one. It's been a good one today. I don't know where I'm going. Hopefully, I'm gonna find my way back onto the M60 sometime. But um, yeah, it's been good. I'm gonna sign off here. Um, thank you so much for watching. Please do subscribe to my channel you enjoyed this video um, there'll be more coming um, very exciting week next week stay tuned to see my next video because it's going to be a good one um, but I will speak to you soon and bye